this is internal storage. And that's not very portable. However, inside this internal storage device, I have a form of external storage. And it's very portable. Oh. Mm. That's good. External storage usually refers to storage that is outside of your computer and contains something. This is a kind of external storage device. And what's inside is very delicious. An example of an external storage device is this old hard drive. It's very small. It has about 32 gigabytes of space on it. This, in a way, is an external storage device. It's actually a chip that is inside an adapter. Here's the data chip, and here's the adapter. This is a micro SD card going into an SD adapter. And that allows the smaller format to go into a larger format that I can, say, insert into the back of my computer and access my files. This is a very small thumb drive. This thumb drive has 256 gigabytes of storage on it. That's kind of big. But these days, you can get as much as one terabyte of space on a thumb drive. Next year, that might be two or four. It depends on the technology and how fast it's progressing. Uh, every couple of years, things double or triple, depending on where the technology is coming from. So keep that in mind. What might be big this year isn't so big next year. These days, computer chips such as SD cards and thumb drives, they can store a lot of information. Movies, videos, music, your computer data, databases, whatever. Given that they're fast, they have very high transfer rates, and they're very small, and they're outside your computer. Wouldn't it be really cool if you could, say, take a couple of thumb drives and access what's on them pretty much at the same time from your computer. Now my computer has multiple USB ports on the back. I can stick two of these in the back and I can access what's on them at the same time. That's pretty cool. But I only have, you know, four or five slots. Would it be something if you could take your thumb drives say, you have four or five of them, right? And maybe your SD cards, which you might have four or five of those. And they're, what, 256 gigabytes a piece, maybe even a terabyte a piece. Wouldn't it be cool if you could take all of that information and access it at the same time? Well, you can. Um, there are devices that let you plug these into your computer externally and they're not that expensive. Um, they look like a small box, no bigger than your hand, and you can insert this into that box and plug that box into your USB port. So that would be an SD card to USB adapter. What I have here for my computer is a USB splitter. It's not some fancy USB hub, which you're probably gonna pay 50 or $100 for but a powered USB splitter. And you can buy those for about 20 bucks. And that is actually a hub, meaning you can plug four, five, six, seven, 
of your USB thumb drives into that and then plug that one cord or one cable into the back of your computer and it takes up one slot and if you do that you might have access to I don't know a terabyte two terabytes three terabytes four terabytes that's a heck of a lot of space I mean think about it you know a terabyte is what you know a million you know, photos a million photos I'm not joking that's a lot and uh, it might be you know a few hundred large videos I mean really long videos HD you know that's a lot of video so if you have say four terabytes or eight terabytes you could have a lifetime of family videos stored there you can take it with you put it in your pocket walk around with it put it in your grandmother's computer load up the data you know you could fly it internationally and uh, take it around the planet you could walk around with say eight terabytes in your pocket you know go through the x-ray machine come out the other end plug it into your family's computer on the other side of the planet share your videos rather quickly another way to do that is to upload your videos to the cloud such as YouTube you know you won't be able to do that much information but you can upload 10 20 30 40 videos it's all free it might take you some time but you can do it and let's say you've uploaded all those videos well at the moment you've finished uploading that video which might take you a minute that video becomes accessible to the other side of the planet and that can be streamed without too much trouble and the person can enjoy it without pausing or delays or whatever and it's quite amazing and very fast uh, I'm kind of shocked myself but yes you can upload your video in a couple minutes that video will become accessible to people around the planet within a couple minutes and those people can watch that video without delay or pause YouTube is pretty amazing when it comes to storing your videos but storing them externally in devices like these in large arrays is the way to go I mean if you can get one terabyte out of one why not just go to the store and buy four get four terabytes try and fill those up that'll take you some time but if you have a large family and you got a lot of kids with a lot of cameras and they all want to save their stuff you know put them to work have them store their stuff on your new array of chips